The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is. Third chapter, text number 16. Given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. Recorded in the summer of 1966 in New York. Evam pravartitam chakram nanu vartayati yaha ja aghayu indriya rama mogham patha sajivati Lord Krishna now he has described about a circle of activity ending in yajna sacrifice Jagga, Jagga the proper word, Jagga means Vishnu or the Supreme Lord. And uh, another meaning of Jagga is sacrifice. <clears throat> that sacrifice is how to do that we, are, we have been discussing for the last three or four days. That Jagga Sistha Sino Santa Muchanti Sarviti Nasi. Our whole trouble of life, this material existence, it is according to Vedic literature. This is our condemned life, material, because I am put into a different atmosphere this body, uh, which I am not. Uh, the body is matter, and I am spirit soul. So I have been put uh, into uncomfortable position by this material contact. So the, well, the human life is developed consciousness. So he has to learn it, and he can get rid of this material existence by the process which is prescribed in authoritative scriptures like Bhagavad-gītā, Śrīmad-bhāgavatam and Vedic literature. So the first process, Sri Krishna, Lord Sri Krishna, is advised that uh, not only he advises, it is advised in the all the Vedas that you should uh, sacrifice, perform sacrifices. Kiteja dhatu vishnu tritayam jajato makhi dapari parichajayam kaluta dharikitana. The whole process of human civilization should be to acquire love of God. Uh, our love is now distributed in so many things, uh, and that is misdistributed. The whole thing was to be targeted to the Supreme Lord. I was to love God, but instead of loving God, uh, I, my love is distributed in so many things. Uh, and that is a, a, a misdirected civilization. How it is misdirected? Suppose if I do not love God, if I love my wife, my children, my countrymen, what is wrong there? Oh, there is great wrong that we do not know. Uh, that is most unscientific. Without loving God, if I want to love my wife, that love is not perfect. Therefore, so-called love is disrupted by divorce and so many things. Because that is not perfect love. We do not know what is perfect love and how to conduct. That is the defect of our civilization, which we are accepting as love, that is simply 
a desire for sense gratification. That is not love. Love is different. So because why the love is defective in the material world? Because it is not properly discharged. We have to understand that. How it is not properly discharged? Just like you love your body, nobody can deny. Everyone loves his body. All right. What do you want to do? I want to maintain my body nicely. Then what is the means of maintaining your body very nicely? Now to take nice vitamin or food stuff and supply to the stomach and then uh, there is assimilation, secretion of different uh, blood or different, um, I mean to say, humor and so on. The physiological condition is going on. The main position is that you have to give proper food stuff to this body. Now, <clears throat> how to supply the food stuff to the body? The main source of supplying is this mouth. Now we have got seven holes in this body, uh, especially nine holes, big holes, just like these two eyes, they are holes, the ears, they are holes, the mouth is one hole, and the evacuating process is another hole, this navel is another hole. There are nine holes in this body. Now if somebody says that I have to put foodstuff within the body, just like in medical treatment, sometimes when one cannot take food stuff from the mouth, food stuff is injected from the rectum or somewhere else artificially, but that is not the system of supplying the food stuff. The real process of supplying the food stuff is through the mouth. If somebody says, oh, there are nine holes. Hey, you can put the food stuff in any hole. No, that will not do. You have to supply the food stuff through the mouth. Similarly, if you have to love, you have to love through God. Otherwise, love is not possible. That is all artificial. Just like supplying food stuff through the rectum is most artificial and troublesome thing. Similarly, without loving God, if I want to love anybody, that is a false manifestation. There are so many other examples. Just like watering the plant. Now, our and Paul, our Paul, they supply water, pour water. Why? So that the tree or the plant may grow nicely. Where the water is poured? In the root, not on the leaves. So the scriptures directs, Vedic scriptures. Jathataron mula nisichane na tripanti tattanda bhujopa saha. Just like pouring water onto the root of the tree, all the branches of the tree and leaves and flowers, they automatically nourish. You haven't got to pour water. Now it is a small plant. Suppose you have got a big tree. And there are thousands of and millions of leaves. You are not supposed to supply water in millions of leaves. You are supposed to water, pour water on the root. That will be distributed. Just like you supply food stuff to the stomach. That will be distributed. Suppose I have got very good cake. Now the fingers holding the cake. Now, if the fingers think, all right, this is a good cake, 
Ah, why shall I supply to the stomach? Let us eat it. Oh, the fingers cannot eat. That is improper. There is a story in Sanskrit. Udarendriyana. Udarendriyana. There is a meeting of all the parts of the senses that we are working and the stomach is sitting idly and he is simply eating. So let us uh, get into strife. We shall not work. Just like there is strike system now. Now all the hands and legs and uh, all parts of the body, they will no, no more we are going to work for the stomach. Now what happened? Gradually the hand become weak, the fingers become weak. I could not see the ear. Oh, this thought of what is happening? This ear is becoming weaker, weaker, weaker. Ah. Then they decided it was a mistake not to supply uh, foodstuff to the stomach. It was good for us. Similarly, by establishing a godless civilization, we are not happy. We are not happy. Just like the same way, not supplying full step to the stomach, we are thinking of becoming happy. No, that cannot be. If the senses of the body, parts of the body, want to become happy, then he, uh, the senses and the parts of the body, they have to supply food stuff to the stomach. Similarly, if you want to be happy in this world, there is no alternative without, I mean to say, performing sacrifices. That is recommended here. Evam pravartitam chakram. This is circle is, that the circle is described in the previous verses, that anad bhavanti bhutan. You subsist by eating grains. Of course, now, nowadays we have uh, invented so many artificial food stuff, but uh, however artificially food stuff, however flesh and uh, other things we may take, Without grains we cannot live. Uh, the grains must be there. The wheat and the rice and the paddy and the uh, cereals, there must be there. Uh, the real, real food stuff is anna. Anna means this grain. So by eating grains we subsist. Uh, our life prolongs by eating grains. The anna bhavanti bhutani Parjannat anna sammava and grains are produced by proper rainfall. Rainfall is the main source of producing everything of our necessities of life. Ah. Without rainfall, we cannot produce anything of the necessities of life. We have got many necessities of life, not only grains. We require cotton for clothing. We require silk for luxury. We require uh, valuable stones and jewels, all these are produced under certain circumstances of rain. Uh, rain is falling on the sea and the ocean also. So there is purpose under certain constellation of the star. If the rain falls on the sea, it produces pearls and jewels. We have got this information from Vedic literature. So everything is produced, whatever you require. Now, pasturing ground for the cows, the grass is produced by rains, eh? and they, the animals they eat, the grass, and they produce milk, you require milk. So everything, <coughs> the main source of supply is the rainfall from the sky. Eh? That is not under your control. So Bhagavad Gita says, Parjannat Anna Sambhava, without rain you cannot have any production. Nothing can be produced without rain. And without production you cannot live. But rain, regular rain, and regulative rain and useful rain will fall when you uh, perform sacrifices. Jam. Jagga bhavati parjanna and jagga karma samudhava 
and you can perform yoga by working. Because yoga requires materials. So if you have no money, if you don't work, you cannot have money. So everything is a circle. It's nice circle. Karma, Brahma, Dhabo, and how to work, that is described in the Vedic injunction that you should work like this. We have all discussed. Niyata kuru karmattam, karma jaya karmana. So everyone has some prescribed duty. There are different classes of men. The intelligent class of men, the administrative class of men, the productive class of men, the laborer class of men. Everyone has to work. And by working, by the result of the work, one has to perform yoga. And by regular performance of yoga, there will be regular rains, and by regular rains there will be production sufficient to supply your necessities of life. So that is the subject. That is the So anyway, one has to work sincerely, his prescribed duties, and by the result of such work one has to offer sacrifices to please the Supreme Lord. That is the circle. And Lord Krishna says, even pravartitam chakra. <coughs> now this circle, this moving circle, uh, it, 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 just like mm, the potter moves the circle to make production, we are saying. Similarly, we have to move this circle. Circle means it is meant for moving. Uh, so uh, anyone who does not move this circle, of activity. Then his life is Aghayu Indriyara. His life is full of sin. His life is sinful, simply meant for sense gratification. Aghayu Indriyara. Mohan Partha Sajivati. His life is useless without any purpose. And actually, it has become like that. Our life has become without any purpose. We do not understand. Why this human life we have got? Why it is distinct from the dog's life or the hog's life or the animal life? We do not understand that. We have to understand that this human life is not meant for the um, uh, animal propensities of life like cats and dogs. It is meant for some other uh, divine purpose. We have to get rid of this material engagement and attain our spiritual life and be happy forever. Yadgatyāna nivartyante tadhāma paramaṁ mama. One has to return back to the kingdom of God. That is the mission of human life. So one who does not know this mission of human life, so according to Bhagavad-gītā, he, he is living useless. His purpose of life, he has no, that is, sheep without a ladder, a man without aim. He has no aim or purpose of life. This is the purpose of life. <coughs> so we have to perform yoga. So anyone who does not move on this circle, according to Bhagavad Gita, he is passing on his life useless. Then the next, jastu atmarati reva syat atmarati tascha manava atmani eva cha santushta tascha kajyam na vidyate. This is a, this jagga is prescribed for the general mass of people, that they must work sincerely according to their prescribed duties and by the result of that uh, duty or result of their action, they should offer sacrifices to the Lord. Now at the present moment, the best sacrifice is recommended in the Śrīmad-bhāgavatam, the uh, sacrifice of uh, chanting the holy name of Lord. Jaggai saṅkīrtanai prāyai jajantihi sumedhata. So now you come here 
and sit down here for some time and chant the holy name of the Lord, that is also sacrifice. That is also such sacrifice. This is recommended for this age, especially, because we cannot make any other sacrifice. So in this age, this age is called Kali. Kali means the age of quarrel and uh, minor things we are prepared to uh, fight with one another. Uh, that is the uh, system of this age. And if you open the newspaper in the morning, you will find so many news of fighting. Uh, so this is called the age of fighting and corruption. So in this age, they formerly, as uh, the sages and great kings, they were performing jagga, rajasiya jagga, asamid jagga, and so many big, big jaggas, and they required large fund of money. So that is not possible in this age. Uh, Lord Chaitanya therefore recommended, not only Lord Chaitanya, out of his own will he has recommended, it is prescribed in Shastra. And it is said, uh, Kriteja dhyato Vishnu. Krite means in the Sattaju, or what is generally known as Golden Age. So in the Sattaju, uh, people uh, used to realize self, or used to uh, elevate themselves to highest perfection of life by meditation. Meditation. You have heard the name of Balmiki Muni. Balmiki Muni, he meditated for sixty thousands of years. Uh, his whole body was powered by, uh, and uh, what is called, uh, worms. <coughs> and uh, because at that time people used to live for one hundred thousands of years. So gradually our life is being reduced in the Satya Yes. In the in the Satya Yuga it is stated that people used to live for one hundred thousand of years. And then in the uh, Trita Yuga they used to live for uh, uh, one thousand of years. Now in the Dapar Yuga for one thousand. And in the Trita Yuga ten thousand years. And the Dapar Yuga one thousand years. And now it has come down to one hundred years in this Kali Yuga. Uh, that also one hundred years is not completed. Uh, now we are dying within sixty or seventy, and gradually it will be reduced to twenty to thirty years. That is also mentioned. So what was possible in the Satya Yuga by meditation, that is not possible in this age. That is not possible. Therefore the methods have been made easier. Kriteja dhyato Vishnu. What was being possible to attain perfection of life by meditation in the Satya Yuga? That was possible in the Teta Yuga by offering up big sacrifices. Kriteja dhyato Vishnu. Tetayam jajato makhai. Makhai means big sacrifice. And dāpare parisajjāya, that very thing was realized in the dāpar by temple worship. And that from the dāpar in India, uh, so many temple worship flowers. Not only in India, all over the world. Uh, church worship is also temple worship. Mosque worship is also temple worship. Uh, it may be different for different countries and different class of people, but the whole thing is temple watching. <coughs> temple watching. There, there are in the temple there are nine kinds kinds of different uh, process of worship. Savanam kīrtanam Vishnu smaranam padasīvanam archanam bandanam dāsyam sakham atmani vedanam. So uh, the. Uh, Maranam kīrtanam bandhanam. Bandhanam means offering prayer. 
And archanang means, and uh, that is of course, you have no experience, in India there is archan, uh, the deity installing deity in the temples and worship from morning and uh, half past four to till night, eleven, there are different kinds of uh, worship. <coughs> So either this uh, worship or this prayer, they are called temple worship. Temple worship. Bandhanam, offering prayer, is another sort of temple worship. So that is recommended, that was recommended in the Dāparajuk. Dāparajuk means just uh, during the uh, Mahābhārat time, Mahābhārat time, five thousand years before, that was the end of Dāparajuk. Then after the battle of Kurukshetra, this Kali Yuga has begun. Kali Yuga, this age, present age, which you are passing on. In this age, this Kali Yuga will exist from the Vedic scriptures we understand. It will exist for hmm, 400,000 years. Uh, 400,000 of years. 427,000 of years. Uh, not 27, 32. Out of that, we have passed only uh, 5,000 years. So there is balance still, 427,000 of years, to finish this Kali Yuga. Now, for this age, Kriteja Dhyato Vishnu Tritayang Jajato Makhai. Now, different ages, uh, different methods are prescribed. So, for this age, it is prescribed the kalauta dharikitana, whatever possible uh, to perform in the Satya Yuga by meditation and the Theta Yuga and by offering of great, uh, um, I am to say, costly sacrifices and the Dapur Yuga by offering prayers or archan in the temples, that can be made possible easily by harikitana by chanting the holy, holy name of God. That is the prescription. So as the Bhagavad-gītā prescribes that you have to perform yajna. Now, don't be afraid that you have to perform the same kind of yajna as, was, as was, it was being uh, performed in the trita yuga or tāpra yuga by offering thousands and thousands of uh, uh, months of uh, black clarified butter and grain, that is not possible. Uh, nobody can secure all those ingredients at the present moment, neither it is recommended. The, in the Kali it is recommended that one can perform the Sankirtan Jagga. That will uh, give him the same result which was derived by meditation in Satya. The Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu introduced this method of Sankirtan Jagga eh, in this age. Five hundred years before, Lord Chaitanya advented himself in India, in Bengal, in the district of Navadvip. It is about sixty miles from Calcutta. And he, of course, he was born in that particular place, but he uh, I mean to say, distributed these uh, missionary activities all over India, and he deserved that uh, his followers may also distribute this missionary activity in other parts of the world. That is his desire and fortune. So <clears throat> this jagga, so far jagga is concerned, we can perform this jagga, sankirtan jagga. Uh, that is not very difficult. Everyone at home or, or in this place, uh, what is there? Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. No. It is the most inexpensive performance of Jagga. Anyone can adopt it. Just to learn this uh, sixteen words, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. This sixteen words, any one, any illiterate man or any rich man, any poor man, 
or any man of any country, these sixteen words, anyone can learn, you see. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. And chant, go on chanting it. There is no expenditure. Suppose if you are moving on the street and if you go on chanting, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare, there is no expenditure and there is no loss. Suppose you are sitting on the bus, on the car, uh, for two hours, I bet it two hours, if you go on chanting Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, oh, then tremendous result. So why don't you try it? Uh, there is no expenditure, there is no loss, neither loss of time, neither loss of money, uh, neither loss of energy. There is no loss. Simply and melodiously, in a singing way, if you got Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Uh, you are, you will be directly associating with the Supreme Lord. Uh, you will be directly associating. Uh, now suppose, theoretically accepting that if I am directly associating with Supreme Lord, then what else I want more? And the Bhagavad Gita it is said, Janglabdha chaparang labhang mannate nadhikang tataha. If you actually get the association of the Lord, then what else you have got to gain? You have got, you have got everything with you. Huh. So that is a fact. It is, it is a question of realization only. And, and, and as soon as we get advance in this chanting of this uh, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, then we shall gradually realize that actually God is with us. God is dancing on my tongue in the form of sound. So this is the simplest process of jagga uh, that is introduced by uh, Lord Chaitanya. Not uh, He has manufactured this process, but it is uh, from authoritative uh, scripture. And you can try it. You can try it. The result will be that uh, gradually you will be on the way, on the path of liberation. Liberation means to get out of this material entanglement. Uh, uh, the Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said that by chanting, this Krishna Sankirtan, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, the first result will be that the, your heart will be cleared of all dust accumulated by and years and years and life, of, life after life with this material association. Just so, like we are sitting in this lock, and so the, by association of this Bavari street, uh, all as dust is coming in this room and it is being um, 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 stacked up, uh, layer after layer. Similarly, by association of this material uh, um, contamination, we have in our heart accumulated so many material dust. Uh, the whole thing, our progress of spiritual life, our progress of spiritual realization is checked only because we have got some misunderstanding of our identification. The identification is that I am this body. That's all. That sātva buddhi kuna This is also described in Srimad Bhagavatam that one who is identified with this body uh, are three elements. Uh, this body is made up, according to Ayurvedic medicine system, this body is man, uh, uh, made of tridhātu, tejo-vārimit, that is also stated in the Bhagavad, uh, tejo-vārimit, uh, that means heat, water and earth, heat, water and earth. The whole material creation is a combination of these three things, tejo-vārimit, uh, tejo means heat or fire. 
and vari means water, and mrit means earth. Oh. So this world, uh, uh, this body is earth, uh, matter. Uh, we use these grains, the grains which we eat, that is also earth, transformation. And now by eating grains, this place is transformed. This is also earth. So we are seeing a very nice, beautiful, but it is earth. So it is made by interaction of this heat and water. That is the process going on, nature, nature's creation. Huh. So dasyat buddhi kunapi So anyone who identifies with this body, this uh, bag of these three elements, this is a bag. Huh. So dasyat buddhi kunapi tidhātuke sadhi kalatradishu and from this bag there are many other bags emanated, just like my children. They are also my different bags, production of this bag. So, the Shaguddhi Kunapeti Dhatuke Sadhik Kalatradis, one who identifies this bag as myself, I am this body. And the result of my body, these uh, kinsmen, children, and family or countrymen or society men, they are my own men. Sadikalatradisu Bhomajadhi Bhomajadhi means this earth from which this earthly body has grown up. That means the country. This country. We are fond of our country because from this this American earth my body has developed. Or from Indian earth or this earth of this planet, apart from American or Indian conception of life. So we are uh, and human beings of this planet. So we are identifying with this planetary uh, uh, situation. So all these things, they have been very carefully analyzed, and uh, the conclusion has been that just one who thinks like that, he is no better than ass and cow. Saiva Gokha. Saiva Gokha. Gokhara go means cow and khara means ass. So actually, if we analyze the present civilization, oh, it is a civilization of Gokhara. Gokhara. Because we are identifying this body. I, my, I am this body. And because this body has got connection with a particular woman. Therefore, he is my, she is my wife. And because by that combination we have got another protection, some children, they are my children. And because it expanded into society, into country, and so many things, so all this entanglement is there. But actually, I am pure soul, I am not this body. As soon as I understand this, then whole thing is vanished. Because if I am not this body, then in relationship with this body, whatever I have expanded, my extended selfness, selfishness is at once vanished. Then I am muktapur, I am liberated soul. So Lord Chaitanya says, by chanting the Sri Krishna Sankita, I become at once liberated from this misconception of law. What I need, I am suffering due to my this misconception of life. The whole Vedic literature advises me that you are not this material body. You are Aham Brahmasmi. I am Brahma. Brahma means I am spirit. And the supreme, uh, not supreme spirit, but I am spirit. Brahma. The Vedic literature does not say that I am Param Brahma. Param Brahma is Bhagavan. Uh, Qualitatively, I am one with Param Brahma, and Brahma, there is qualitatively oneness. Because Brahma, gold, big gold and small gold, that doesn't matter. Gold, both of them are gold. So, Lord Chaitanya says that Cheta Dharpana Marjanam, this misconception of life, will be the first instrument of, of our uh, profit by chanting 
by regularly chanting this Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 by performing this jagga. The first instrument, that first instrument will be, I become liberated from the material conception of life at once. That is the, the, the many great sages, they are going to Himalaya, they are going to the forest for meditation just to realize what I am. Now, Lord Chaitanya says that this, what you are, your self-realization, your spiritual realization will be the first installment. Cheta Dharpana Marjana. This is simply Cheta Dharpana Marjana means this is misconception. That what I am not, I am thinking I am. It is simply to understand that I am not. Actually I am not this. We can understand it very shortly, within a moment. That Bhagavad Gita has already told you that that portion which is spread all over your body, that you are, that is avinashi, that is immortal. Now what is that? My consciousness. And what is that consciousness? That is the symptom of my presence. I am a soul present in this body. The consciousness is the symptom. Now as soon as this consciousness is removed, the body has no value that we are experiencing every day. As soon as from the body the consciousness is out, oh, this dead body, you are crying, oh, my son is gone, my husband is gone, my brother, why are your son is gone? He is lying here in the floor. Why you are crying? No, no. The gone means that consciousness is gone. Gone means that, therefore, the consciousness is the real thing. So we misunderstand. We misunderstand. Therefore, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says the misunderstanding of this body identification is at once removed by performing this jagga. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Then the next installment, simply, simply understanding that I am not this body. I am consciousness, we will do it? No. That is the first step. Cheta dhatpana marjanam bhava maha dhavagni nidvapanam. If you are actually conscious of uh, being, not this body, actually, then your all material miseries are at once removed. As soon as you come to the real point of understanding that I am not this body, then the whole misunderstanding of material existence, bhava maha dhāvāgni. Bhava maha dhāvāgni means, each and every word is very carefully selected in Sanskrit, and they have got immense meaning, full of meaning. Now this, why this bhava maha dhāvāgni, this very word, I'll try to explain. Uh, bhava, bhava means the situation in which we have to take repeated birth and repeat, accept repeated death. That is called bhava. And that is kind of maha-dhāvāgni. Maha means great. And dhāvāgni means forest fire. Forest fire. Forest fire, have you seen? Any of you here, you have got many forests, but I don't think you have seen any forest fire. I have seen. Uh, forest fire takes automatically. Nobody goes to set fire in the forest. But by, uh, I mean to say, cohesion of different dry bamboos or woods, and fire takes place by electricity, fire takes place, and the whole forest is ablaze. That is called dava. So this material world, nobody wants, everyone wants peaceful life. But the nature of the material world is that automatically there is fire. Oh. Automatically there. Just like in New York, your fire brigade is always traveling. Always afraid of if there is any fire. Because we are expecting every moment fire. Every moment fire. Nobody is setting fire in his house. But automatically there is fire. So, 
however we may want, however we may try in the United Nations organization that there will be no war. Oh, it will take. It will take place. And already taking place, it is the war is going on. We cannot stop it. This therefore is called Bhava Maha Dhavarni. Just like in the forest, nobody goes to set fire. It automatically takes place. Similarly, in spite of our good wish that we want to live peacefully in this world, there cannot be any peace. There will be fire, set up fire. Fire set up. So as soon as one becomes confidently convinced that I am not this body, then he is protected from this fire of this material world. Fine material world. Bhava Maha Dhavani Nidhapanam Sriya Kairava Chandrika Vitaranam Vidyavadhu Jivanam. Then his actual life begins. Then also, then his actually blissful life. Sriya Kairava Chandrika Vitaranam. Just like the moon rises from the new moon, gradually the moon rises into the full moon. Uh, that the Chandrika. Chandrika is this very word is used. It is compared with the moon. Just like in the Pratipada, after the new moon, you see the moon just like a line. Then next day it becomes little more, let for a month, just like uh, Pratipadita on the eleventh day, it is practically four. On the eleventh day we and observe and then then after four days the full moon, the whole world is full of line. So, Sriyakaiva Chandrikana, as soon as this Bhava Mahadavagni Nibhapana, as soon as we get rid of this conception of, misconception of identifying this body, then our real blissful life begins, gradually develops, just like the moon develops. Sriyakaiva Chandrika Abhidhananam Vidyavadhu Jivanam. Vidyavadhu Jivan means full knowledge. Full knowledge. We are hankering after knowledge. Then we come to the point of full knowledge. Vidya Bhadi Jivanam, Ananda Ambudhi Vardhanam, Ananda. We cannot increase Ananda here. In the material sense gratification, Ananda does not increase. If you want some Ananda from sense, it, for the time being it may give you some pleasure, but at once it decreases. You have no more capacity to enjoy, you see. At once decreases. So it is not ānanda. Ah, it is not real ānanda. Ānanda means that will increase, increase. You enjoy and increases. Increases. Ānanda ah. ambudhi vardhanam. The example is very nice. Ambudhi. Ambudhi means see. See, you don't find see has increased. Ah. You go to the and what is called <coughs> a seaside. Uh, uh, ten years before you had been to the seaside, you see the same level is there. It does not increase. Uh, if it increases, then all New York City will be overflowed. It does not increase. Uh, but here, Lord Chaitanya says that Ambudhi, the ocean of bliss, it increases. It increases. Uh, that is a new experience. When you are actually in spiritual happiness, your bliss will be increased. Material happiness means that your, your bliss will be decreased. Suppose if you want a good cake or good food stuff, you want to eat. Now, suppose you take two cakes or three cakes, and the fourth cake you will refuse. No, no more I want. No more I don't want. Because that and I mean to say pleasure now has decreased. Decreased. But here he says, Lord Chaitanya says, that your ananda bliss will be increased. increased. That is spiritual. That is the taste of spiritual life. Uh, when you engage yourself in spiritual function, the taste will be that you will not feel tired. You will not feel tired. Suppose if you are engaged in some spiritual function, you will find more activity, more activity. More you do, more you find activity. That is spiritual. That is spiritual. So these things are there. 
no. So we are not to be afraid of that uh, we cannot perform this yagya as prescribed in the Bhagavad Gita uh, by the grace of Lord Chaitanya uh, and uh, by the grace of daily literature. We have got this information that yagyai saṅkīrtana imprāyai jajanti hi sumedha. Yagyai saṅkīrtana, this yagya, saṅkīrtana yagya, chanting yagya, one can perform, uh, one can please the Supreme Law. That is prescribed. So mm. this is very easy and anyone can adopt only to remember the sixteen names and uh, at any time. And Lord Chaitanya also says that nam nam kari bahuda nijasarta shakti tattartita. The name, name Krishna and Krishna person, there is no difference. There is no difference. That you, you don't think that Arjun was fortunate to receive instruction of Krishna directly. But we are unfortunate. We are uh, not in the presence of Krishna. No, no, no. That is our mistake. Krishna is present by the sound presentation because God is absolute. Therefore, there is no difference uh, just like here we have got difference and nothing is absolute. Now this, this watch, this watch, this name of this watch, this uh, name of this article is watch. Now watch and the thing watch, there is difference. If I want to see watch and if I uh, sound watch, 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 no, my purpose of watch seeing will not set. I want the actual substance which is watch. If I am thirsty, if I simply speak on water, 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 my thirst will not be quenched. I want actual water. Uh, uh, if you want something else for my enjoyment, the name will not do. Because nothing in this, this is dual world. Uh, this is, this world is of duality. But in the absolute world, there is no such duality. Everything is everything. Uh, one plus one equal to one. One minus one equal to one. Purna sa purna maharaya purna maiva vasisyati. These are Vedic injunctions. But if you take the whole thing from the whole, still the balance is whole. The balance is whole. 